Hello, and welcome. I'm Zanner, and here we are once again playing modded Minecraft. And I started up my game today, and there's this book in my inventory. Better Christmas. Dear Zander, it's only 14 more days until Christmas. I bet you're all excited to get some nifty presents in real life. But you know what's even better than real presents? That's right, you can now make presents in better storage. If you didn't know already, that is. Additionally, if you hold on to this book, you can get a present this Christmas. Read on to learn more. How to make present. I feel like it's missing an A or something there, but... Fill a cardboard box, surround with wool, and you may choose any types of wool. Wool? Box. Uh, when it's time to open the presents, it can get quite chaotic. Name tags with the recipient's name will ensure only they can open that presents, which is kind of pointless because I'm in a single player thing. You can remove name tags in a crafting station using shears. Don't lose this book. Don't let it fall into the enemies, know your friends, hands. Hold on to it and log in on Christmas, December 24th to 26th, and get your very own present. This only works with your own book. So, that's odd. Uh, uh, I don't really know where to put this. Oops. Uh, well, I guess I'll put it in here. So I did put in a uh, flax beard steam power, or steam, yeah, steam power, because uh, I realized that my modular power suits is broken. By broken, I mean when I put in one of the recipe files, so there's actually a recipe, and I'll talk about that in a second there. Uh. The game just crashes when I try to load into my world. So, no modular power suits, I guess. I haven't removed it for some reason, but it's still there. Uh, this is an experience obelisk. It's, I, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. I didn't even consider what this could actually do until I saw Direwolf20 use it. Basically, all those tanks I had were unnecessary. You take the experience rod, three solarium, and a machine chassis, and you get this. And according to the config, this thing can hold something in the area of like 257 million levels or something silly like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did manage to get two more ender pearls. And remember that, that uh, soul vial I was trying to use? I did manage to get an enderman, although it's kind of pointless at the moment, because I need an enderman skull. Uh, you can get a chicken. It was because they were stacked I couldn't pick anything up. So, uh, be free, chicken. I could kill you. Be free. So... I'm probably going to want to capture a zombie. Still kind of pointless, because the big issue right now is I need an Enderman Skull to really proceed in a bunch of the things I want to do. But in the meantime, what I can do is I have these Ender Pearls. Now, I want to just check the recipe real quick. I want to make a farming station. Uh, ooh. I can do that. Slice and splice should be decently easy to make. Diamond hoe. Electrical steel. How much electrical steel do I have? 13. Very good there. Very good. Uh, this is... Oops. I don't know. I know, how, I know what a diamond is. Pretty sure this is... Yeah. So, oh, it's getting dark. Maybe if I get lucky, I'll find an enderman. And he'll drop ahead, and then we can do things that I want to do right now. I'm distracting myself. So, I said two. Oh, I had two. Weird inventory bug. So, so, we need a slice and splice. That is not how you spell slice. Which takes any head, five solarium, shears, and an iron axe, and then a machine chassis. So, we'll take four of these, we'll take one of these. I did make some brass. I'll show you how I got the zinc because I don't have the... Uh, I'm basically missing out on stuff world genning because I added it so late. 
but that's okay because, well, for one, mine camp, which I have a setup there. I just realized that I haven't gotten to. I'm sure you've probably noticed a bunch of times. But we'll get there. Uh, I suppose while these are cooking. So, this looks like an absolute mess, and it sort of is. This right here is a basic logistics pipe. This is doing hydrogen. There is four sets of crates here. They, You can tell which ones are separated because there's actually the thick line in between. This is one, this is one which is containing oxygen, this is one which is the one that gets the hydrogen, and, and then this one is the basic route. It's where I'll, it's where I put in, like, wood, or pretty much wood in this case. So, this guy is asking for two stacks of oxygen, two stacks of carbon, and three stacks of methyl. So, and then that will output methyl methacrylate. This guy is asking for two stacks of carbon and six stacks of hydrogen, which is making methyl. And then this one as is asking for either oak wood or cellulose. You guys are being loud. Do you mind? I realize I could sleep, but I'm hoping an enderman pops up. Nothing. Okay. Sound settings, 45%, please. Why did that seem like it did nothing? 16%. Okay, much better. So down here is some machine chassis pipes. This one only is an extractor mark 2. That's the one making the methyl methacrylate. The other two have extractor module mark 3s, which is the... I think I actually showed... pretty sure I showed that. Oh, and this pipe in the center here is a provider pipe. Now, it's not set to include anything, so it includes everything, and it connects to all four of these storage things here, so it's providing from all of them. Uh, I did upgrade it to a provider logistics pipe mark two, which is a regular provider logistics pipe with a diamond chipset, and that's just a golden chipset and a redstone torch around a basic logistics pipe. So. These guys are asking for things. This guy provides it. The extractors are default routing, which this one is requesting. This is a basic logistics pipe set up to only accept methyl methacrylate. So all the methyl methacrylate will go there. The uh, hydrogen goes there. Carbon here. And oxygen here. And I'm not sure if this works or not. Uh, the idea is that once this gets overloaded, it'll feed into there. If that fails, the oxygen's going to pile up in there, and I'm going to have myself a crisis. But I'll figure that out eventually. But that's pretty much all it is. These basic pipes here aren't really necessary. I, I technically probably could shove this whole thing back a bit, but meh. But I've got this much methyl methacrylate. Uh, I've actually been running these guys off of sulfur, though, because... I, destroyed a bunch of sulfur before I set up this setup. So this is pretty much full. Got our solarium. Uh, back to making the slice and splice. I need an iron axe and a set of shears and a head. Okay. Uh, sticks. Oh, no, I only need two. Only need two. Only two. Only two. I realize I'm long past that point, and I'm still saying it, but that's okay. I uh, need to do another quick ch check for Endermangs. Men, Endermen, any Endermen? No Endermen. That is disappointing. So, here, here, not you, here, here. Uh, that. Uh. Hmm. Uh, here. So this guy also needs an axe and a set of shears. But I have a set of shears because I was screwing around with something earlier. So I don't need to make another set of those. Those can just go into my slice and splice. 
and I'll make a new axe. Bam, bam. So, back to the farming station, of which I've also got this. All the diamonds I own for. So, I'm going to need a diamond hoe. And then I'm going to need two pulsating crystals. And now I have some more random nuggets left over. And I got an achievement, but I didn't see what it was. So. Four electrical steel, another machine chassis. Uh, da, 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 da. Last of the iron bars. And I'm going to need more iron. And for view. Oh, right. Oops. What does the zombie head take? Two solarium, a redstone, a zombie head, and two silicon. Okay. Uh, need to make two more solarium. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I should go get all the gold from the finished, now finished quarry. And just make a massive supply of solarium. Which I probably shouldn't. Yeah. I'm going to go with I probably shouldn't. Okay. Would you go faster, please? A uh, zombie head. Uh, there. So now we just need the solarium. If you could just go faster, that would be much appreciated. Okay, so. Uh, okay. I was worried this might take a while, but eh, it'd be okay. Takes 80 R if a tick. Gonna cut through a decent bit of power. And bam. And bam. Z logic controller. Uh, right. It's not gonna work because of the diamond hoe, because. Apparently, nobody's still managed to figure that out yet. So, farming station. Very good. So, now that I've got the farming station, I'm going to need some dirt. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I guess for simplicity's sake, I can do it here. I'm not entirely sure what the uh, default radius is. Uh, here. I'm gonna go with the idea that it's 7x7, seven seven, but I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am wrong, but... That's... that's not even remotely the right place. Right. Knock that out. So, that is that. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I just realized that I'm gonna lose a farming plot here. Which is unpleasant. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, auto workbench. Four wooden gears and a crafting table. I do have a crafting table. 
and four wooden gears is easy enough. I'm probably going to need three of these, actually. But that's okay. So. Uh, is that where I want that? Well, I don't really have any way to make Ender IO transport pipes because in order to make the absolute minimum, I believe I need three nuggets. Yes, I need three. And I only have two, and I have no more ender pearls. So... I should be able to output into item pipes, at least. Uh... Hmm... Okay... I'm gonna need to make. Oh no no no! I got plenty of stone kinesis pipes, so these should be able to run this just fine. Uh, that's not gonna hurt anything there. There. So this should be receiving power now. Ah, very good. Base use, 10 R for tick. You know what? That's acceptable. Uh, says no seeds, which is sort of accurate. Uh, it's actually only going to accept 16 per thing. It might actually be 7x7. Seven seven. Uh, oh. Oh, that's gonna... That's not really gonna do much. Hmm. There. Just to make me feel better. So. Uh, you will auto eject out of the bottom, but I need to make more auto workbenches. So, 16, I don't have 32, I'm actually going to need 48. Wait, yes, okay. Wait, you know what, uh, I don't even care. If I make an extra, I make an extra. It don't even matter degraded myself to eating carrots, which is unfortunate. So, these will go through like so. I actually want two more clay insertion pipes. I'm hoping the clay insertion pipes can connect to each other, because if that's the case, then this is good. Ha! Very good. Uh, I'm, I'm so very pleased about this. You, you don't even know. I mean, you can clearly hear it in my voice how pleased I am. Uh, da, da, da. Huh. The saplings will auto populate that before going anywhere. And I'm going to want some sticks. Oh. Just realized something. This may not work quite as planned. Actually, maybe it will. I don't know if it pulls from adjacent inventories. But... I have a feeling it doesn't. So, we'll see how that works. I know if I was using the Ender IO crafting things that it would, but I'd also have to power them. And it doesn't need to be terribly fast, it just needs to be able to create axes. That said, I will start it off with an iron axe because I'm a nice guy. 
Actually, no, I just want to make sure that it has an axe for a while. No, 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 no. Go there. I don't think it really matters. But that's going to continuously drain power, which is an unfortunate reality. Uh, we do have a net gain, I think. Should. And I just realized uh, I should have a ton of crates. Yes, I have 19 crates from whenever I was trying to design, design that system. So I'm going to put a gold pipe here because the clay insertion pipes oops, favor connecting to other pipes. Or favor going into inventories before connected pipes. So hopefully this should work as planned. Ah. Oh, okay. And that's all of them. Are they connected? Uh, yes. I'm going to go with yes. So... The great question now is, are the trees going to grow, and can I force them to? There. And, boom. Oh, another tree grew as that was happening. So inside of here, there's now, oh, right, I did not, oops. I wished you to push out the bottom, please. I've just realized that this is going to do what I had planned, except there's a slight issue. I need to pull out and... Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to make a redstone engine. Well, two of them actually. Whoa, where did my performance go? Okay. As far as I can tell, it's kind of directly related to nothing. Okay. Hmm, nifty. Uh, redstone engine. So I'm going to need two pistons and a piece of glass. So, two iron. Two redstone. Uh, bust these down. It doesn't really matter. Two pistons and then a piece of glass. Spend an entire episode trying to get a tree farm up and automating axes. Wait, I only need one. Oh, because I only got one piece of glass. Herp de der. So, I'm going to need another piece of glass because I need to make wooden pipes. Good. Uh, I need two of you. So both of these need to feed back into the center. Oh, I actually need a third one. Be oh, it's almost night time again. Maybe if I get really lucky, I'll find an enderman. I haven't even gone over the... Oh, I did go over the logistic system. I just completely forgot about it. Uh, we'll run you along the back, because I just want to make sure that nothing terrible happens. I am kind of worried that it might overflow out the end, but I I don't know if Buildcraft pipe logic has been fixed. I have an idea that maybe it has, but I don't know for sure. 
Okay, okay. Uh, oh. Hmm. So, an important thing to note here. Zombie pigman wants to see what I'm doing. This will only feed sticks into there. And... Everything's being made kind of slow right now. Uh, this might sort of, kind of round robin. Uh, I'm actually kind of hoping it does, but I can't make any guarantees of that. But I'm not really worried about power so long as that's crafting. Why are Endermen so rare? And I was hoping I could get into the steam-related things, but that does not seem to be happening. And I believe it takes a zinc ore, yes, it takes a zinc ore, and I cannot make a zinc ore. So I cannot actually make the book, I'm going to have to work off of the knowledge I have from having played with it a little bit in the past. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. Oh. I see. Well. That's uh, quite the predicament we've got ourselves into. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can work around this, I think. Probably. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. What an unfortunate series of events. And ones of my own doing. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm kind of retarded. Just, just a little bit. If you already noticed what I've screwed up, then congratulations. You're apparently more intelligent than I was. So. One redstone engine. Oh, actually, first I need to make this done. One redstone engine. Bam! And I'm also gonna need a wooden transport pipe. Uh, you know what? You know what? There's enough trees here. I don't need these. Uh... Err. Is it made with cobblestone? I think it's cobblestone and gravel. Oh, do I not have any gravel? Don't tell me I don't have any gravel over here. That would kind of suck. Oh, I know it's not in those. Why am I even looking? Ah. I'll just steal it out of the floor. Cobblestone structure pipe. So now we come over here and... Pipe plugs. They take 10,000 RF, which is very good. I want to make sure these pipes don't connect. That is one thing that cannot happen. So that, and that. Uh, I have... Not a whole lot of options because of what I've done here. You know what? You don't need to be here either. Deal with it. I will put one wooden extraction pipe here. I'll put this here. And I'm gonna lose out on another tree spot by putting that there. Um, 
Why have I permitted you to do this? Chest, 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 chest. Now with... Oh. Ah. With any luck... I'll just use a regular cobblestone transport pipe, because it doesn't matter. Put that there, that there. You, my friend, will pull from here. And you can keep that iron axe, because I said so. Six apples. Mm -hmm. See, the only thing I have against using the build craft pipes is I don't know if it's going to eject or if it's just going to refuse to input whenever there's no output location. But I guess if that becomes a problem, I'll have to sort it out or something. Hmm. I mean, I could always put a set of logistic pipes there, but I'd rather not do that. It'd be a lot simpler with the Ender IO machines, but I would be a lot simpler if I had real pipes as well, so. I don't think build craft pipes work for tender situations. And the video is getting kind of long. But I also. I oh know I'm not going to be able to see because I have that running into there. Hmm. I'm going to put torches around the outside. Like. Such spider. No. I think it may have just cut down a tree because it's the only reason a burst of power would be coming over here. But there's only apples in there. I'm oh. Well, that was definitely it cutting down a tree. So the only place it should be able to output wood is into this. Good, good. This is waiting for wood. Oh, another tree just got cut down. So it's smart enough to realize that can only accept wood. And man, there's a lot of wood in there. That must have just cut down a massive tree. I'm fine with this. Uh, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of actual progress being made between today and tomorrow because as much of a slowly dying kind of laggy mess as it is. APB is having a holiday event that where you can supposedly gain you know, one of the new weapons for free. And it's like I I don't trust you any more than as far as I can throw you and because you're a virtual game I can't throw you at all. But if this has overflow issues, uh, I'll figure that out. I could use gates. I could set up a gate that checks to see. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I could make gates. Gates are easy enough. Gates that can do stuff. Well, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to call this good. If there is an issue, I'll have to figure it out. 
I could have figured it out by just not having a pipe here, but I didn't do that. Speaking of pipe plugs. You. You. Don't need to be connected, and it annoys me. Also. You and you don't need to be connected, because I don't like having more things connecting than need to. So... That's what I'm doing. I guess it makes me feel better. And it... I'm assuming it helps with the pipe routing logic, at least a little bit. So, yeah. I'm gonna call this good. I'm gonna hope that this does not overflow. And if I get really lucky, maybe I'll find an Enderman head, but... Kind of unlikely. I don't really leave the place with the zombie awareness mod. So, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.